we have all become masters at recognizing and identifying the pain of being cheated on. After all, it gives us no choice, does it? But often we are not so adept at recognizing those signs that we're actually healing. And partly that's because those signs are sometimes so subtle. You know, they're, they're the whispers versus the screams of the pain. And part of it is because healing isn't linear. It's not one step followed by another, followed by another, always moving forward. But I bet if you think about it and you really look, you're going to notice that, yeah, some of those signs do apply to me. Maybe I'm not where I want to be, but I have made some progress. So one of the first signs that you are beginning to heal is that you're not quite as reactive as you were before. Your body doesn't go into that fight or flight mode quite so easily. Those things that trigger you, well, they still get under your skin. But the reaction isn't quite so intense. And maybe, maybe you're even able to get yourself under control a little bit faster. Another sign that you're healing is that you're able to handle more nuance without feeling threatened. I know in the beginning, I, I had to paint him I had to see him as, as all bad. It was the only way that I could function. Um, anything else was, was too much to even contemplate. And in time, I was able to, to see him a little bit differently, to see him more as a whole person and not just all bad. And I didn't take that as a personal affront in the same way. So when you're able to see all sides of a situation, it's a sign that you're beginning to heal. Another sign is that your obsessions and compulsions begin to fade a little bit. You know, in the beginning, your brain is constantly thinking about the affair partner is, you know, running the, <laughs> what you knew of your past alongside what you now know and reevaluating situations. And then there's those compulsions. You know, for me, it was obsessively reading the other woman's blog and trying to keep tabs on my ex. And then at some point those begin to fade and you no longer have that same energy, that same drive to do those things. And all of a sudden you have space to think about other things. Another sign is that your sleep begins to improve. In the beginning, I bet you, you weren't sleeping well. In fact, you may not have been sleeping at all. I know I sure wasn't. And then even when you do sleep, the dreams, well, let's be honest, they're not dreams, they're nightmares, are persistent and leave you waking up feeling like you've discovered everything all over again slowly you begin to sleep a little bit better you awake a little more rested and you start to have dreams well that are just dreams healing is exhausting work <laughs> and so at first it takes all of your energy it just leaves you feeling beat down you know almost that feeling when you've recovered from the acute phase of an illness. But when you're starting to heal, you may notice that you have more energy again. And it's more sustained energy that you're able to do more than one thing without collapsing. Another indication that your healing is that your focus begins to broaden. At first, you're the betrayed one. You're the one that was cheated on, that was lied to, you're the victim. And everything is seen through that lens. But then your world begins to broaden again. And it doesn't minimize what was happened, what has happened to you. It doesn't mean that you forget what has happened, but you no longer see only that one thing. And then finally, my favorite sign 
of healing is that you begin to have hope, hope for the future, that you begin to trust that the way that you feel today is not the way that you will always feel. 